classified in, in, uh, correctly. Again, assertions about account balances at year end and substantive procedures, right? Existence, rights and obligations, completeness, valuation and allocation. So for example, with existence, with existence, when we talked about a balance sheet accounts receivable, we talked about confirmation. So that's a standard uh, and a required approach to um, auditing accounts receivable is to confirm. You don't have to confirm accounts payable. Unlike accounts receivable, there's no mandate uh, to confirm accounts payable. All right, most, uh, that is the auditor's uh, judgment, whether or not they want to confirm. So sometimes what you'll see is they might confirm uh, vendors that they consider high risk. Uh, but again, a, a substantive procedure would be to just vouch the recorded payables to vendor invoices, um, receiving reports and purchase orders, right? That's how you know, right? Because if we order goods, we're going to debit inventory and credit accounts for payable. So if we have a receiving report, we know we should rec a receiving report that matches the purchase order and ties to the vendor invoice, that, that way we know that a liability existed, exists because we, we recorded that, right? We, we have the receipt of that item. Why is it different for accounts receivable? Why can't we have this, use the same approach with accounts receivable? Why do we have to confirm accounts receivable? <coughs> What's different about accounts receivable versus accounts payable? Yes, Omar. Exactly. 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 Right? We know if we receive the goods that we have a liability. We are obligated to pay it. Now, on the flip side, the, customer, the vendor, that's a different transaction for them, right? But we know that the existence of that liability is fair, right? It, we should record it. Accounts receivable. What we, the, the wild card, as Omar points out, is that we don't know if the customer is going to pay it, right? They should pay it. We don't know the customer's financial condition. We don't know if the customer has an issue, right? So it, it, there's, it, there's some doubt about it, right? So we can, we can, whereas we can verify the accounts payable because all of the records uh, and documents that we need are uh, in-house, right? We could look at the receiving report. Uh, but accounts receivable, to know that we don't know if the customer is challenging that accounts receivable. Okay. Rights and obligation, again, the company, the obligations, the, the, the payables record, the liabilities recorded on the books belong to the company. Look at bank confirmation. So when we talked about bank confirms, I mentioned last week, that uh, one of the things that companies will, in the confirm, the confirmations, they'll ask, on the confirmation, there'll be um, something asking about any liabilities or outstanding, you know, lines of credit, things like of that nature. Um, look at board of directors minutes, things like that. Uh, perform search for unrecorded liabilities, that's completeness, and we'll talk about that in a moment. And then valuation and allocation is basically testing the mathematical accuracy. Unlike accounts receivable where we have um, <clears throat> estimates, uh, you know, accounts payable is not an estimate. You're not going to uh, estimate what your accounts payable. There's no guesswork with accounts payable. Are there liability accounts where there, there's guesswork? What do you think? Can you think of any liability accounts where there is a, an estimate that has to be made. Warranties. Warranties, exactly. Warranties is one. What's another one? Someone had a different, J Jimmy? Well, that's on the uh, uh, asset side, right? That's what the accounts receivable. I'm thinking about liabilities. Uh, contingent liabilities, yep. Omar? Taxes. Right? So and a lot of your taxes is, based, is going to be done by tax people because you, you, know, you could estimate what your tax liability is. Uh, right? And deferred revenue, right? Deferred revenue is, doesn't flow through the revenue, through the income statement, right? It flows through the balance sheet. 